But let's get to even the most versatile of the champagnes, and those are rosés. Just like the other champagnes, you may have a non-vintage rosé, you may have a vintage rosé, and you may even have something that's a prestige cuvee that actually is another level above that. Perhaps it's from a single vineyard, perhaps it gets a certain, a different type of vinification, meaning it gets uh, uh, a little bit more handcrafting and more care. But in this case, we've got a rosé from France. Now, it is a champagne, which means it's from the Champagne region. Nicolas Foyat is the uh, producer. In this case, it is a rosé, and it doesn't have a vintage on it, so we know that it's a mixed vintage or a non-vintage. There are two ways to make rosé, however. Now, as I said, you've got Pinot Noir, which is a red grape, and you can do one of two things. You can either take white wine and red wine and mix them together, or you can take, uh, use another method called saigné, which means to bleed. And what that means is that they allow the red grapes, once they're crushed, to remain in contact with the skins until it picks up the blush. Now, we think of blush here in the United States from White Zinfandel and, and the blush wines of the 80s and, and 90s as sweet wines, but these are absolutely bone dry and very crisp and very refreshing. But the one difference between a rosé and a Brut or a Blanc de Blanc, which would always have a little bit of Chardonnay, if not a lot of Chardonnay, or Blanc de Blanc is all Chardonnay, but the Brutes have a little bit of Chard and a little bit of uh, Pinot in them, is that with the rosés, they're looking for that richer flavor. And so now you've got a wine that's extremely versatile with all types of different food. It's crisp enough to match with fish. It'll work with white meats, pork, and chicken, but it also works very well with uh, red meats, whether it's duck or beef or lamb, it really, really works very well.